Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any, la any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. What's Paul writing about here? He's urging with a sense of insistence to, for people to look at what God's done. In view of God's mercy, get it in your sight, what God has done through Jesus. And when you've got that in your sight, then you offer yourself as a response, your body in as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Many people, particularly Christians, say, Lord, give me a sign, what should I be doing? Teach me, show me another way, give me a burning bush or do something. And yet in his word, he says, offer yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Don't conform anymore to the standards of this world. Be transformed, be changed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing and perfect will. People are blown about by so many different things. What the world has to say, the mould we have to squeeze into, the way you've got to be because your friends say it, what the church expects. And we're asking, Lord, what should I do? How do I know your will? Very simply, if you want to find out God's good, pleasing and perfect will, you've got to offer yourself as a living sacrifice in view of God's mercy. Thank you.